à tout le monde. Et welcome to Ask Cecilia. Okay, stop a moment. A new segment where I answer some of your burning questions and give you advice on how to live a better, prosperous, fruitful life to the best of my ability. Hey, what did I say? Fine, what? Now let's begin. Chloe from Souffre asks, "My boyfriend has another girlfriend, and I saw them ready to kiss today. How should I handle this? Before or after the funeral?" Chloe, the real question should be, "Open casket or close casket?" Because you'll know me already. Man, are you okay? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> toot, toot. Funeral parlor, how may I help you? Yes, can I get a two for one special, please? Cecilia, you again? Hello. Okay. All right. Chloe, my pastor tell me that's not the way. So here's some real advice: get yourself out of that situation and go look for a man that is not in desperate need of a glass of water. It shows, I say, glow. Next, we have Ji An from Beckson. She said, "My boyfriend broke up with me to go with my ex." What? If your boyfriend break up with you to go with your ex, then my girl, you know the problem. Huh? Trust me. Now, if he go to his ex, then I can understand. My girl, then how oh, I for job? He did not like you. First of all. He was ever always ex, so don't waste your time. You know, getting caught up in your feelings because you're just wasting your time. You should not focus your energy on learning how to do the doggy paddle and backstroke because if you fall too hard in backstroke, you know you will need your swimming skills and not your ex. Next question, Daniel from Granville wants to know. I have a man issue. I think my boyfriend is gay. He say he is waiting for marriage, but not even a kiss or holding my hand. And you still there, my girl? A time I went through his history on his laptop and it's only gay porn. What should I do? He is a good man and he goes to church and everything. Should I confront him? Michael, like I want to give you something, and you should use it sometime. You got that? That's common sense. Michael, I think you should confront him right now instead of making time pass on that. And I have to end up seeing you super G on your wedding night buying carrots and cucumbers, and it's not salad you're making. Self service. Miss George wants to know. Good evening, Miss Cecilia John. And good evening to you, Miss George. That was just so sweet. First person to tell me good evening. You'll have no manners. Work on that. She's asking. I need some advice on how to know if I'm pleasing my man. Miss George, hold on there for a minute. Yeah, hold your breaths. If you have to ask me that question, that means you're not. So send him for me. If you're so concerned, you don't have to worry. Trust me. You know what? On second thought, hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Do it yourself. Cause you know why? Because. And I don't need no more puppies following me around. And the last question tonight comes from Hannah from Bexo. She says, "Yes, Miss Cecilia, you know my problem. When the men make us feel unappreciated, especially the ones I have, I cook and clean and wash in his clothes, and he will not even come and say he will bring the clothes nor help me clean. When I come from work, everything is the same place. Then I have to give him food after I tired, and I want to know what is the best way to teach him a lesson. You know what I did? Let me tell you what I did. I had to put Mrs. Mia under some heavy manners. When I come home and the dishes are washed, oh." No current shop clothes. When I reach home and I tired and I see the clothes I washed before I went to work still not hung. After I ask him to hang the clothes when he come from work and he dare before me. Oops, her chew. Nope, Mrs. Mia has a fever. And you keep that up long enough so you can have time grow a little afro down there. And when you go down there and you see some flat twists and some cornrows and they come and tell you what going on? What is this? You can tell him I'm too busy cooking food and hanging dishes to go and do some gymnastics in front of a mirror for razor. You tell him that and he will learn his lesson. Trust me. Mhm. Mm Thank you for tuning in to Ask Cecilia. Please let me know how the advice worked for you, and I really do hope it helps you live a much better life. And if it didn't, then good because you're not paying me for that nonsense. Tune in again next week, and don't forget to inbox me your questions. Have a good week, guys. Please and thanks. But in all seriousness, if you do have any problems. Speak to someone who can really help you, or pray about it. It really helps. Don't talk to Cecilia; she's not any good. <laughs> What did you say there?